Another part. Almost ready. Making progress. The bike is ready. I just have to take it and that's it. Now it's complete. I just have to take it. Bone Town, here I come. Let's go. something from my bike was missing. I forgot to mount the brakes in my hurry to leave. Fortunately, I escaped without any major damage. Better take what's left. I'm especially sad about the bike. I was very fond of it. the road I came from. I can't go back. First of all, it's night, and I don't want to walk all the way. I have vague memories from when I was a child, but I don't think the fountain was in this condition. I remember my father told me the city was built around this place because a source of fresh water spilled out of here. Now the city seems to be letting itself go. I could pick all the weeds and try to fix it, but I'm not here for that reason. I've arrived at the Dead Man Inn. This was the place I always stayed with mom and dad when we came here, and it's the same place indicated by my father in his letter. Better leave it here. Other travelers might need it. They don't seem to have invested a lot in making the city safe. It's a bit dark. It's the Dead Man Inn. It's a poster for the Lafitte Amusement Park, the most prestigious amusement park in Bone Town. I stand corrected. The only amusement park in Bone Town. Grand opening October 29, 1915. By now, it's probably the only abandoned amusement park in Bone Town. Better leave it here to remind all Bone Town tourists of the beauty of Lafitte Park. Today's special Pigeon pudding drowned in grog, hardtack and fat fried in grog. Grog cake? It looks like a diet rich with fiber and carbs. Better leave it for the next customer. Take it and deprive the next tourist of those delights? That sounds crazy to me. The last pages are blank. Well, the whole book is blank, actually. I have no idea how to use a quill. I can hardly write even with a normal ballpoint pen. It's the key to room 09, the one indicated on my father's letter. I absolutely have to take it. You don't look like you're from around here, is that right? I don't know how it works where you're from. 
but in my inn, it's a good rule to ask before taking something. I'm sorry, you're perfectly right. May I take the key to room 09? Absolutely not. But you just told me that if I asked, you would give it to me. I just said it's a good rule to ask before taking something. But you absolutely can't take that key because of the second rule of the house. Whatever decision I make is law. That means you can't take the key so long as I'm here at the inn. And I've been here for 30 years. Every given day. Every single hour. Didn't you even get a day off? Now I can understand your good mood. What did you say? Only that I respect your rules and I admire you for your commitment and courtesy. <sighs> It's the key to room 10. I have no idea how to use a quill. I can hardly write even with a normal... There are tons of options. Beer, more beer, grog, more grog. I can also try the house specialty, beer and grog. Not to be confused with grog and beer, a useless and tasteless beverage. Bartender, something strong, please. Sure, what can I get you? I imagine a fresh glass of plain water would work. Or maybe a lemonade. But I doubt you could handle it. <laughs> mm, on second thought, I'm not that thirsty. It's better that way. I guess he's the owner. Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very good. I almost feel at home. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you we are in peak season. Hmm. In this one, we still have to clean up bloodstains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. Then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. In that case, I can't do anything other than give you room 10. But I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number 9. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number 10, which nobody likes. So they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn in a 40-kilometer area. You can also go find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10? Room 10 is okay. Do you have money for the accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan. That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? For the anniversary of my father's disappearance. Today it's ten years exactly. There's always a good reason to stay at the Dead Man Inn of Bone Town. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you're settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Unless further surprises arise, I should be able to open room 10.
Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes. Standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. There are a series of pictures portraying famous people who seem to have stayed here. Stanko Stupar immortalized Abraham Lincoln. Behind that door is the orderly's room. It's locked. Owls. Owls. Those eyes make me feel quite uncomfortable. Owls again. I don't need it. According to what the innkeeper said, this is his room. I'd really prefer not to enter. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. I didn't know Walken came here too. He's been immortalized by the artist Ayman Oktar. It's a Riyadh Kasim work. It's a Riyadh Kasim work. There's no need to take it with me. I'd rather admire it on this wall. I didn't know Walken came here too. He's been immortalized by the artist Ayman Oktar. This is the room my dad told me about. I have to get inside. Locked. Tiago Huacel painted this subject. I want the other guests to enjoy these works as well. Maybe the youngest visitor to the Dead Man Inn. This portrait is the work of Tiago Huacel. I'd rather leave it where it is. Restricted to personnel only. It doesn't lead to other rooms. It looks more like a second entrance. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. It seems like a piece of modern art. It really belongs here. I wouldn't want to upset the symmetry of this place. I can't open it. It's locked. Room 10, the one most coveted by the customers of the Dead Man Inn. Sealed. It looks like something bad happened. I'm not sure I want to know what. I don't think I should touch anything. That yellow tape does not bode well. A fireplace of great worksmanship. It's summer. It doesn't make any sense to heat up an already warm room. It's the form the innkeeper was talking about. First I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. I haven't got a pen with me and can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info. It's an aftershave. Somebody was in a hurry to leave the room and forgot it. A peculiar scent. I wouldn't say it's good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. It looks like a rudimentary room bell. It looks like a communication system. Better complete the check-in. I wouldn't want the innkeeper to accuse me of using a service that still doesn't belong to me. The fireplace in the room is very nice. It's one of the many points of pride at the Dead Man Inn. There's one in every room, hand-built by one of my ancestors, brick by brick. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Inn 
It's a standard form with some fields to fill out. I'm back with the form you talked about, but I haven't got a pen with me and I still have to fill it out. Doesn't matter. Give it to me so I can write the essential data down. Thank you. Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age plays shameful tricks. You seem like a different person now. Kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this inn. Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? What now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through and it does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything I need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? Okay, thank you. Um... I shudder to think what it might be. Color and density do not bode well. I'd rather not touch that substance. Oh my god! And to think that, according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep the important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. What the hell happened here? I think I left the door open and a board did the rest. It wouldn't be the first time those animals have made trouble here. But according to you, is such a thing actually possible? Forget it. So how did this happen, in your opinion? I guess a robber came in and trashed the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable from you? I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The dead man in comfortable in the area, but it doesn't have any insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance before you arrive. Thanks, my good man.